So we do a lot more than just barbell work in the gym. Um, one thing we're gonna do a good bit is rowing. And so I just wanna teach you proper rowing form. A lot of times people think the row as an upper body movement, a pull. In reality, we wanna think about it more as a lower body push. So it's my legs and my hips that are doing the work, not my arms. So if I just strap my feet in here, I'm gonna grab onto the handle, and I wanna make sure I'm sitting up nice and tall. And we're just gonna go through sequencing here. So, driven back, and I'm just gonna start by pulling with the arms, okay? And yes, you can hear that that gets the wheel turning in the rower, but if I were to just pull with my arms, my arms would get really tired really fast. So instead, we're gonna use our hip. So after my arms go forward, I'm going to hinge at the hip with a nice flat back, and then finally I'm going to bend the legs to come down what we call the slot. So to, to row, we want to think drive with the legs, unhinge the hip, follow through with the arms. And on the way forward, same thing, just in reverse. So I push with the arms, I hinge at the hip, and I pull in with the legs. So in slow-mo, legs, hinge, arms, arms, hinge, legs. Legs, hinge, arms, arms, hinge, legs. And so this is largely a movement that is powered by my hips. We want to make sure we keep good posture. We want to make sure that we don't overreach. There's lots of finer points. But the main idea I want to get across is that it's the big mover of our legs that's doing the work with the row. Um, all right, see you next time.